Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Um, so we got a little bit to talk about today. Kind of interesting. Uh, for those people, you know, who uh, dabble with politics, it seems like politics is dabbling with technology. And so as the title implies, we're going to talk to you guys about the Freedom Phone. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> Literally. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Credo Mobile. I wrote it as Credo Wireless, but it's Credo Mobile. Uh, we're going to look a little bit into that carrier, find out what it's all about. And then a big shout out to the community. Uh, I got some amazing news to tell everybody. I am uh, half asleep because I'm still kind of tired, but uh, I'm also really happy and excited so to talk with everybody about it. And I got my first hate comment on Odyssey, so I want to talk a little bit about that too because that, that was kind of cool and amazing. Shout out to the person because they could probably be, we'll see this later. As all my live streams, my video uploads, all that auto syncs to Odyssey, and so they'll probably see it. And um, yeah, uh, not feeling bad from the hate comment. I just think it's pretty cool. Uh, being on a different platform, you know, discovering a new platform, being on it, making content for it and stuff like that. When you finally get someone that wants to tell you off because uh, they just like using choice phrases and trying to make people feel inferior to them. I feel like that, you know, that, <laughs> that's a bonus for me only having like eight followers on Odyssey. I mean, that's that's pretty good so far. I mean, hey, you know, I've always grown slow. On social platforms i've never been one to go viral and blow up and get really huge really fast that's totally okay but when someone takes the time to call me a moron that's even greater uh just because it's like whoa it touched the nerve there but um yes that recently happened on odyssey so i just uh, thought i would share that little that little quickness of it not not i keep too much focus on it but i just wanted to say yeah i'm kind of excited to to, to have that that's, that's i know it's very weird it's very like whoa what the hell dude like why would you even embrace that like and you know what like um i did reply to the person but i didn't go back and like you know challenge them or or, or be rude as they were rude to me i don't believe in doing that to that extent um you know what i mean but i do appreciate that they took the time to watch however much of uh, yesterday's live stream they watched. Uh, so anyways, yeah, big shout out to them. All right. So, um, let's just kind of like dive into this. What the hell is freedom mobile or freedom phone? Sorry. What's, what is a freedom phone? And, um, I, I've been, I've been hearing about this a little bit here and there, but, um, I was reading Google news this morning, you know, I woke up I'm like half, I'm still half asleep, but I was like more asleep than anything. So I was just like reading some news just to kind of get my mind, you know, going, get that blood flowing to my head, and, you know. Uh, and and I came across this from CNET, and I was just like, wait, what is a freedom phone? And uh, I, I guess companies are um, because everything is political now, right? Let's let let's address the elephant in the room, right? People are now group identifying themselves by political point of views and what side of the political spectrum they're on, and politics really shouldn't even be involved um, as far as as technology in in that sense. But it's becoming to that point, right? So like you know, politics has has these ugly spider legs, and it has spidered itself through a lot of things. It's spidered itself through social media, it has spidered itself through social networking, it's spidering itself into into hardware and, and software manufacturing. And, um, you know, the, the the apps, the big tech giants and stuff like that, it's, it's spidering into all that. And we have enough as it is. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually really kind of like, you know, just sick and tired of politics. I mean, I enjoy having those conversations with my dad. Um, but to have it on a day-to-day -day basis and to try to identify yourself to a political spectrum and to always, always consistently talk about it. I mean, this is the reason why I don't really talk about it that much anymore here on the channel at all whatsoever. Or when like the topic starts to kind of rise, I just pretty much like nip it in the bud. Even if like, you know, people in the chat are talking about it and they want to kind of have that, that dialogue, I kind of like push away from it. It's just, it's just, to me, it's crazy these days. This, this whole monster created in the last six years of politics has really destroyed families, friendships, relationships. And, and I think it's pretty stupid that we're at that point, human wise, that we're at that point that, you know, we would out somebody because of their political point of view. I got people that, you know, are considered on the other side of what I believe in. And I'm not going to out them because of their political point of view, because you scratch, that's just a surface, scratch that away. And you'll really see that they're actually a decent person. 
which is funny that I have to say something like that to kind of get some sort of merit. What's going on, Jose? But I have to say something like that to that to that type of merit to kind of like get people to understand. So, um, but kind of like starting to veer off here, but let's kind of backtrack a little bit. Freedom Phone. What the hell is this thing? And I actually found the website for it. Um, I seen a bunch of sites that's calling it a scam and stuff like that. And we'll get into that here. Um, but I actually found the site itself and the site is kind of alarming. So, um, hopefully Los Mobile is strong enough to do all the things I'm going to do today. I usually don't really screen share anymore because sometimes it crashes a stream, but I want to go ahead and do it today. So let's see, let's turn it on and there we go. Hey, what's up coffee? All right. So this website is, uh, for the freedom phone. Um, and the website is freedomphone.com. So there's really nothing to it here. I mean, you have like the company logo up here on the top left corner. You got a nice little background of the American flag just waving in the background. It says Freedom Phone in some very stale font and then completely uncensored. Buy it now. Um, so it goes uncensorable. Freedom Phone. $500 for this thing. And it goes on to say the Freedom Phone is a free speech and privacy first focused phone. So we, we, we kind of have that with an iPhone. <laughs> the iPhone, that's like iPhone's mission statement right there. Anyhow, <laughs> going forward uh, with features like tracking blockers and uncensorable app store. Uh, works with Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile and Sprint. Wow, this thing is really old because Sprint is not even around and all other domestic and international carriers. Move phones over in 60 seconds as soon as the phone arrives. What do you mean move phones over? Do you mean move over phones? I'm not entirely sure. And at the very bottom in the fine print, it says ships in August. <laughs> ships in August. Alrighty uh ban free uncensorable app store our own app store read what you like why is people bothering me now hang on i don't know if you guys hear my phone ringing screen the call let's find out who it is oh they hung up all right anyways <laughs> sorry about that um so an uncensorable app store. Okay. So what exact operating system is this thing running? Because I seen in the specifications, it says freedom OS, but what's the core, which I'm assuming it's going to be Android promoting free, promoting free speech, preloaded apps. So we got OAN, we got duck, duck, go. We got parlor. We got Newsmax, we got Rumble. Those are preloaded into the phone. It's got bloatware. Improved a free speech first operating system. We've developed the first mass marketable mobile phone operating system based on free speech. Your privacy guard, say hello to trust. Your data, your rules. With powerful tools such as trust, you are in control of what your apps can do whenever you want. Trust will help you understand the security of your device and warn you about possible threats. Create a future where free communication is not banned by big tech. Uh, we want to bring back free speech forever. Phone itself. And that's what the phone looks like. Um, seems like that they probably went overseas and had this thing built. Because, um, you know, one of the things that I would look for, and, and, and I'm going to critique the hell out of this. Um, Large six inch screen, great, great camera. It does everything your current phone does. Easily transfer phones. Right, and it continues on with buy it now, buy it now, buy it now. Um, just... Dude, seriously, everyone's gonna bother me on a Monday? We're already in GER Mondays. Hashtag GER Mondays if you guys ever come through this and you know stuff starts getting like really weird. Uh, let me catch up with the comments here. Um, stream is solid. Freedom phone sounds like freedom pop. Yeah. Moving, uh, moving over might mean network switch. Yeah. 
Kratom phones are probably made by the NSA. <laughs> Poor <Q. laughs> <laughs> Looks like a scam to me. That's what a lot of people are saying, Coffee. That's what a lot of people are saying, um, is that it, it may be a scam. I don't know if anyone actually bought this thing. $499, they, they paid for it and probably didn't receive a phone. You think Sneed's blowing up my phone? No, nah, he's not blowing up my phone. Sneed's got a lot of things that he's got to take care of and stuff like that. So um, we, rarely, we rarely talk on the phone. I think the, the more interactions that me and Sneed have is like on Twitter or on his live streams when I comment. This thing just sounds so weird. All right, let's check out the specifications of the phone itself. So let me go all the way back up. It's a, it's a nice looking website. Very clear cut and dry and simple. Um, spec sheets from the Freedom phone. It's got a little picture of it. It's about $499 for this thing. Runs on Freedom OS. It's got a 6.088 inch HD plus IPS panel. The cameras, the front camera is an 8 megapixel. The rear camera is a 13 megapixel main sensor by uh, 2 megapixel by 2 megapixels. One of the other 2 megapixels is one like a, you know, well, I don't see how 2 megapixel ultra wide would be beneficial to that, but what the heck is, are the other two sensors? <laughs> is one like, like, like a, what was it called? Um, ah, what did the Pixel 4 had? Not a, uh, I know the Pixel 4 didn't do um, ultra wide, they went telephoto. Is one a telephoto, like one like a monochrome can uh, sensor? I don't know. Uh, display type, it's got a water drop uh, notch. Display resolution, 720 by 1560 pixels. That's a 19 by, uh, well, it's a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, the CPU is a 1.8 gigahertz 8 core processor, but they don't tell you what processor it is. So more than likely, if this thing uh, really is out there for people to buy, like, like someone actually has one and it has a box one that is not affiliated with the company, uh, more than likely then it's going to be using a, what the heck is that brand? Um, MediaTek. <laughs> four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, uh, Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi signal connectivity. Uh, three G bands connects to band one, two, four, five, and eight. For four G bands, it connects to bands one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-eight, A plus B. Five G bands initially not included because this is probably not a five G capable device. Um, expandable storage with a two hundred and fifty-six micro SD card. Um, battery cover material. Composite. Okay, there's a single speaker, there's a single microphone, there's no infrared, it has NFC, but no wireless charging, no quick charging, a SIM tray, dual SIM tray, it's got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, weighs about 160 grams, it says USB Type-C, and when you order it, it comes with a clear case. So there's not a lot of, um, hold on, I went back, I wasn't trying to go back, touch screen, sometimes, uh, but anyways, um, not a lot of, uh, info there and obviously this part of the page is powered by wordpress you got login entries feed comments feed wordpress.org let's go at the recent comments okay there is none <laughs> let's go to the archives that's not selectable okay um no categories uh yeah here we go let's just go to the comments feed and see what we get Okay, well, I mean, this is out. This, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, not exactly what I'm looking for here. All right, let's just go back. Huh. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what, what to think about this. Um, the issue is, is that there are several people reporting that this is a scam. Um, the website doesn't give me that security. Like, this is like a a full fledged. Um, company in that in that sense what's up carlos uh however it does kind of just you know it does kind of feel like it's a startup company and i think that's what you know whoever's running the site i think that's what they're expecting people to see um so let's kind of go back and let's see yeah, see here on the top stories, Freedom Phone, why you should avoid it, and what else to know. 
And then the U.S. Sun posted a day ago of um, warning over new Freedom Phone that claims to protect your privacy and allow free speech. Let's go to that. Let's go to the, let's, let's see what the U.S. Sun has to say about this. Go over their their article verbatim. Uh, red flags warning over new Freedom Phone that claims to protect your privacy and allow free speech without censorship. A warning warnings have been issued over the new Freedom Phone which claims to protect privacy and allow free speech without censorship. According to the company and its founder, Eric Finman, 22 years old, the phone aims to create a future where free communication is not banned. I think they mean, mean free speech communication is not banned by big tech. Um, it says here, experts have voiced concerns over the security and technical details of the Freedom Phone. Self-proclaimed Bitcoin millionaire Eric Finman on the set of Candace with the new phone itself. So he's there with the phone. Uh, the phone has its own app store where no, no information is censored, allowing customers to read and watch whatever they want. It also contains preloaded conservative apps, including ones which have been banned by other app stores. Uh, no, I don't want the US Sun to send me notifications in the future. Uh, the Freedom From operates on its own software, Freedom OS, and has massive memory space fast processors, front and back cameras, and all day battery life. Self-proclaimed Bitcoin millionaire Finman claims that $500 phone, which launched last week, is comparable to the best smartphones on the market. Major pushback. This is the first major pushback on the big tech companies that attacked us for, well, this is what he said, um, for just thinking different. We're finally taking back control, but the new device has a lot of red flags, CNET reports. The Freedom Phone and its Politically conservative branding will appeal to many, but there is nothing to suggest that the phone, its privacy claims, or it's a big tech work the way Finman suggests. Um, the fact the phone is already available to order and that there are more buy buttons on the website uh, than phone hardware specs describing the phone's capabilities are all red flags. That's absolutely true. That's what we just talked about. Um, so, okay, so there's there's people who just really just starting to think that maybe this thing is some sort of scam. Um, in 2019, the FBI secretly sold Pixel 4As with a custom ROM to... What? It was called... You know, this is probably phase two. <laughs> uh, so, it, no, it is. It is, Magical Mermaid. It is political. The, so the, the Freedom Phone, in, in all intents and purposes, uh, the idea behind it is, is that they're, they're selling a phone that's supposed to be able to protect your privacy but still allow free speech. So any other you would use on that phone that would censor, they, they would like, it, you know, you, you wouldn't have to deal with that. So it comes preloaded with, with applications that are social networks and social media platforms that, you know, guarantee to, to users that they don't censor. Um, and it's, it's really politically driven. Uh, but yes, that, that is that is the major problem. First of all, we just went through the website. We could look at the website. There are more buy buttons on that website than there is actual explanations and details of the phone. It gave you a basic rundown specifications of the phone detail-wise. Uh, well, not, not detail-wise, but um, just basic generic details. So, like I said, like I wanted to know what what processor chip it was using. It, it won't, it can't definitively tell me if it's a MediaTek, if it's a Qualcomm, if they have their own in-house machined processor chip. Um, no information on that. Um, there's just bare bare bones information that you know. I mean, you can literally just copy paste from another, you know, non known of phone that was probably you know built and created in China and. Um, you know, you could buy it from like Alibaba or whatever. You know those those are uh, those uh really generic sites, um, and just slap a sticker on the back of it and say Freedom Phone. I mean, there are those people who who advocate for free speech and, and are trying to protect that. You know, in this country, however, there are people who will capitalize on that and claim to be a part of that and claim to to advocate for that all solely to make a to make a quick buck. Yes, the guy is wealthy and maybe he thinks that because he's wealthy, people are going to look at him in a different limelight and say, oh, well, why would he want to scam us? He's already got money. But people who have money and crave more money don't stop with the, with, with the money that they have. They continue on. And I'm not saying that's exactly what he's doing. I'm just saying that if he is running some sort of BS, you can't look at the fact that, that he is a that he's a millionaire and say that he doesn't want more money because, he, you know, that's yeah. Come on now.
You are allergic to the words freedom, equality, etc. That doesn't exist, never did, never will. That's just the way human beings are. I get your perspective where you're going with that. So yeah, some people will take what you said totally different, but I know what you mean. Freedoms are great until people abuse it. Sounds political, yeah. Butter knife is just a butter knife until someone has a mental breakdown. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I mean, so that is, uh, that is, you know, the freedom phone. And, um, you know, I have, I have mixed feelings. While I do want a phone that does protect my privacy and does allow me to continue to do what I choose to do and not tell me, well, this is bad for you. We say it's bad for you. So we're going to, we're going to ban it on our end. So you who uses it cannot use it. Like what they did with the parlor app and everything like that. Like, you know what? Uh, people like to use Parler, just like they like to use Facebook and they like to use Twitter. And that whole fiasco with the Parler app, I think, was absolute BS. It, it shouldn't have happened. I could care less. I know what people were trying to reference to it, but you know what? I still stand firm with what I say. If you can pin it on a social platform like Parler to 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 reference it to what happened in the beginning of this year, just imagine and all the other things that was like detailed and, and stuff like that that was done because of Twitter, done because of Facebook, you know? I don't think that anyone's rights should be trampled on. I don't think that anyone's thoughts, you know, the you know, freedom of stuff should be trampled on. I don't support that. I don't support silencing a specific group because they disagree with you on things. I don't support those types of things. So when someone creates something such as the Freedom Phone and uses that as their selling point, yeah, it can it could be enticing to someone such as myself. But there, yes, there are red flags here. And I'm going to say this. Basically, I would steer clear of this phone. And it's not because I don't support the idea of freedom of speech and, and protect, but protection of privacy and stuff like that. It's not that I'm against that. It's just that there's, there's, it's just too, 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 this, too sketchy. It's just too sketchy. You know what I mean? You know, I would hold off. I would wait and see what happens as the company goes forward. Now, if this company phases out by 2022, then it was never, it was never to be legitimate in the first place. You know what I mean? A company that wants to do something like this and is goal driven by that desire to to create something such as this will continue on, no matter what obstacles they face. They face, um, you know, scrutiny from people. They 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 face shutdown from their opposition. They will continue to push forward. They will not give up. Um, if it's phased out by 2022, they're just it was never legitimate in the first place. You would have dropped, you know, six close to seven hundred dollars with taxes included. No, it was like what? For, it was about close to six hundred dollars with taxes included. You would have dropped that kind of money on it and probably not received anything. It's to me, this almost feels like, and 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 I hate to say this because I know someone's gonna make fun of me right now when I say this, but it's almost similar to the to the to the Escobar one, the Escobar phones that you know Pablo Escobar's brother um, was trying to push, and all he did was just take like a galaxy fold and slap a skin on it and say, this is the Escobar fold. I mean, <sighs> go ahead. Whoever's going to go make fun of it. Cause I have the same last name as them. Go ahead. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I would stay clear of this. So, uh, let's move on to the next one. And that would be, uh, Credo mobile. Now, I've been seeing a lot of advertisement on Facebook with this thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. We're gonna take a look at this. Uh, I've got a. It's an MVNO because it doesn't have its own network. It says it piggybacks off of off a network that you know is relatively powerful and large. Um, so one would assume Verizon, but I think I think it might be T-Mobile. So, so, all right, let's get this website up. So weird how this hey, what's up carlos what's going on man we we're just talking about well, i was talking about the the freedom phone and how it, it is it is kind of sketchy in my book when well, you catch a replay later on that on all that i mean the idea is not bad but just the way the website is and the way that things look it, it's kind of sketchy it looks like someone's just trying to make a dollar off political stuff so but now we're looking at credo mobile i've been seeing a lot of advertisement on this on on my Facebook page. Uh, I've read through this before. I know what Credo Mobile is. I uh, don't really agree with their philosophy on things, but you know, that's that's a personal thing. But let's 
take a look at them and see what's new with them. So Credo Mobile is an MBNO company um, that, you know, they, yeah, they have all their little flash ads here. No, I'm not trying to go back. <laughs> uh, let me load the page up again. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, they uh, appar apparently some of the money that they make, they uh, donate it to worthy causes by what they say. Um, that was interesting. I was kind of reading that, but then, you know, little thing move. Free two-day shipping on all orders is what it says. Um, let's go directly to the about. So let's let's get here. Let's go here. Our story. Uh, all right. So let's go to Credo and read their empowering positive change since 1985 is what they say. They got a little picture. We the people. So it's another politically driven company. Uh, most companies go into business to make money. Over 35 years ago, we went into business to make change. It all started in 1985 at the peak of the Reagan era and greed was running rampant on Wall Street. But a small band of idealists refused to buy in or sell out. Instead, we pursued an American dream of our own to build a business that works for progressive social change. We've launched working assets with credit cards in the 80s, added long distance phone service in the 90s, mobile phones in the new millennium, and renewable energy in 2018. Uh, throughout the years, our members have enabled us to donate tens of millions to the causes that, that they care about. We've empowered our members to become activists through letters, calls, petitions, and protests. Okay, yeah, see, along with our allies and guarantees, we realized historic victories for the environment, LGBTQ rights, civil rights, voting rights, expanding health care, protecting Social Security, and so much more. During this time, we always have our mission to support the causes we care about by connecting our customers to great products and services. With over 92 million donated to nonprofit groups making real change, we've succeeded better than we ever imagined. All right, so this is supposed to be Creta Mobile. Again, another politically, um, politically goal-driven company. And, uh, you know, the facts and stuff that they, they threw out See, I heard that phone to catch dealers like the Pixel 4. They did before, bro, which with custom ROMs and made it cheap to catch. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm talking about those. Um, but, I mean, like, here's a crazy thing about all this. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, like, like Pixel is really starting to dive into to a, lot of, a, a lot of things. I mean, Credos have been around since 1985. And you've heard their accolades of what they've done over the years, okay? I'm not going to pass judgment on, on, on the company, whether I agree with their philosophy or disagree with their philosophy or agree with their viewpoints or disagree with their viewpoints. Not what this is about. I'm not here to trash them on it. Uh, uh, but literally, they make it pretty much clear to you guys that, you know, they, they are behind a lot of um, a lot of political stances and they and, and they make they make their point of view uh, like really wide out there open. And so they have this, you know, a mobile phone service subscription that they're offering and what they're stating is is that the proceeds that they get um a percentage of it goes to donate to, to you know to nonprofit organizations and, and, and very you know from very different ones um but again driven and this is what i'm talking about like, like the politics is really diving in so we have the freedom phone that claims to not have you know free speech gone that claims to not have um you know um like like like, like any censorship to happen on your phone and then of course you know privacy like data privacy connection stuff like that but the website just seems very mad sketchy let's see i would prefer a a non-party phone i mean well i mean non-party like it's pretty much out there it's just like you know credo is really just kind of like emphasizing i guess why people should choose them and, and if you're the type of person that wants to go ahead and um and know that that some of the money that you're paying monthly for a phone bill is going to the cause, then they are an option for you to look into and say, hey, you know, this is a, this is a, I want to join, I want to subscribe. You know what I mean? Uh, um, you know, you have the Freedom Phone, and you know somebody that that says like, yeah, well, you know, there's no censorship. I mean, but there, there's there's always ways around that. First of all, when when I think the Freedom Phone, and I think about what can be done, 
I mean, if you're, if you know, if they really wanted to, they could just disconnect your internet. No internet, no data access, no usage of the phone. You can't just go and, and, and connect to, you know, their preloaded apps such as Rumble and Par Parler and, um, and, 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 you know, like the OAN network and all that stuff. Um, because if you don't have data connection, you're SOL. And the Freedom Phone doesn't offer data plans. This is just a phone. It's just one phone for 500 bucks plus tax and just their their you know guarantee that you won't be censored with that phone so in other words if you have an iphone you have an you have any other android phone you'll be censored but with their phone you won't be censored and, and the website just seems very sketchy you guys can go check it out at freedomphone.com if you guys want to look at the website yourselves to pretty much see what i what i saw and what everybody else saw in the beginning of the live stream now, Credo, um, they're, you know, at least they're being upfront with, with what they do. Uh, some people may take issue with that because, again, they kind of chosen a, 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 you know, a side on the political spectrum already uh, with the things they're saying. Um, you know, they did make mention that they were around during the Reagan era. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they that they believed in, in, in Reagan's politics or, you know, anybody else's, uh, you know, political point of view going on afterwards it just seems that they were like really on onto one side um which is fine so let's kind of look at what they're offering though but at least this like this site doesn't really feel sketchy to me at all whatsoever so let's go out their plans and check out their plans uh so it says choose your line and pick your plan so we're gonna go with one line and all right if you have one line that you're gonna get with them for one gig it's 35 dollars a month uh, price includes $15 a month for your one gig data plan and then $20 a month for the unlimited talking tax. So it's like $20 unlimited talking tax and then one gig is like 15 bucks. Um, they recommend the $50 plan, which is uh, three gigs of data, 55 for nine gigabytes of data, uh, $70 for 15 gigabytes of data per month. And then fully unlimited is 70 bucks. So there's two plans at $70. I think I, talk, I think yeah, this is the one I saw before. And all right, so that that's what that's the perks that you get with them. So if you go with the seventy dollar plan, that is fifteen gigabytes per month. You get unlimited talk and text nationwide coverage on America's. I'm assuming T-Mobile, because uh, when they say America's best network, it just it just correlates with the Magenta company, and you know that's that's an opinion. That's not fact. Anyways, going forward. <laughs> DVD quality, 480p video streaming, long distance calls to Canada and Mexico included, nearly $2 million in donations each year uh, go to uh, various different uh, nonprofit organizations and in phone service that powers progressive change. So what is the difference from that from the $70 fully unlimited plan they offer? Well, on the $70, which is the same price as a 15 gigabyte one, you get unlimited nationwide talk and text coverage on America's best network stream with no overage fees. Um, so stream what? Like stream music? Because it, it, below that, it says DVD quality, 480p. Video okay, so maybe maybe it's extreme unlimitedly because you're not you're not capped at 15 gigabytes of high speed data. Uh, Londis is calling to Mexico and Canada, nearly two million in donations each year. Phone service that powers a progressive change. So the only thing that is different here is because it's unlimited. That you know, obviously you can stream with no overage fees. I guess with the the seventy the seventy dollar fifteen gigabyte plan, if you go over fifteen gigs, there's overage fees. I guess if you want more high speed data, you got to buy more from them. Um, but yeah, that's it, it, it's a bit pricey. I don't know what you guys think about this, but I find that to be a bit pricey, like super pricey for the uh, yeah. Let's see, can I understand if you have a channel with technology? You seem to always make sure to not care about people of different cultures or colors. I could be wrong. So my channels, of, first of all, um, Charles, my channel is a variety channel. It used to be mostly about tech, but I mean, people evolve. I evolve. So I still cover tech because I know that there's a great amount of people that have followed me over the years that follow me just because of the, you know, talking tech. Uh, but then I add, I add a few more things into it. Um, so like, you know, I'll, I'll talk personally. 
as of you know, a lot of a lot of the guys, the guys and gals that's in here, uh, I've opened up to personally, and so like the dialogue is more like on a friend level, and it, it could go anywhere. It can go into '90s pop culture. It can go into music. It can go into movies. It's just the, the way the way that the stream flows. So I don't I don't have it structured. I don't I don't keep boundaries on the live stream to just stay specifically to one thing. It'll go where it goes. Um, yeah. So um, I don't know if that's like a bad thing. <laughs> Let me know if you think it's a bad thing. Um, but I'll be straight with you. If you feel like it's a bad thing, it's something that is not going to change for me. I'm not going to just go strictly back only to tech and just that. You know what I mean? I have more fun live streaming and talking about, you know, whatever I'm feeling that day and whatever, you know, people might be feeling to talk about. Except politics, though, because I just, you know, you can't really do that and not, and, and have people get along nowadays. Before you could, but not, not right now. Not in these times. And I sure as hell don't want to be hosting debates between people and, and having people get upset because I want people to be able to get along and have fun and smile. I don't want people leaving feeling like crap. You know, that, that, that's one major thing. But anyways, back to Creative Mobile. So, yeah, they're, they're pretty pricey. <laughs> in my opinion, they're pretty pricey. I have to say that. Um, I wouldn't suggest it just overall on the plan offers that they give. I mean, you can find better value than that, uh, on the MVNO. Um, or, you know, if you're going to be, if you're comfortable paying that price, if you went postpaid, you'll get a hell of a lot more. So, but what Credo stands out to me as to being is that it is in fact, um, for those people who are just, they want to they want to support all these nonprofit organizations but they don't want to specifically just focus on one so if they you know kill two birds with one stone by getting phone service through a company that's donating out to all these various different um, organizations then they're able to say that they've contributed to all these different organizations without having to specifically hand over a check or you know plug in their debit information and specifically choose one out of so many um, so if you're somebody who, you know, is um, very spirited in heart and wants to combat things that they feel that is wrong, you're the type of person that wants to like stand up to injustice, you're wanting to, you know, um, help people to an extent with uh, your point of views and stuff like that, Credo Mobile will probably be like the answer that you're looking for as far as you know, not having to choose one specific organization every month, but knowing that you and a collective group of people on the same company are major contributors to various different organizations. But this is a very politically driven company. I have to forewarn people on that. Um, they, many people don't squabble about a few bucks as long as the service works for them. Yeah. I'm not paying $35 for one gig. I was bored at night, but no. <laughs> Porky, that's funny. Right? But sometimes people just want talking text. They have Wi-Fi. That's true. The consumers come in, 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 in all in all different all different ways, right? Some don't even care for data. Some just talk and text. Some want just a little bit of data, not a lot, because I have home Wi-Fi. Some people want need a lot of data because they do everything on their phone. Like consumers come in, in all in all forms so we really can't just like set one standard and say this is a standard for everybody so right there kind of proves that point um i don't know <laughs> i can't i won't co-sign this i won't co-sign this i'm sorry well just for me i just feel like it just it stirs the pot but for those people who who want to sign up for it it's there and you know what if, if you're okay with the pricing and 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 the availability then um yeah, go for it. I mean, if you want to know what kind of phones they have, um, let's see. So, I mean, they got they got they got some of the normal phones that that you would see on any other carrier. iPhone 12. So you got the 12, the 12 mini. You got the iPhone SE. You could bring your own device. Um, Samsung Galaxy S21, the Galaxy A42 5G, the iPhone 11, the Pixel 3 XL, Pixel 4a. Um, Galaxy S9, that's a certified pre-owned. The ZTE symbol, which is a flip phone that I think runs, I think it runs Android. It's just a basic flip phone. Uh, Galaxy S10, 
and the Galaxy S10e certified pre-owned. Um, so you can you can lease them. I mean, you see prices like 33, 33 a month. So okay. Uh, new phone, same progressive values. Yeah. So you got installments. Let's go. No contract plan. There is an actual full pricing of them. Okay, so 879 for the for the uh, iPhone 12. It's 729 for the 12 mini. Yeah, so about average pricing for phones. Uh, Google Pixel 3 XL, $329.99. Uh, I mean, you can find it cheaper on offer up, but it's, it doesn't say certified pre owned, so it's not refurbished, but it could be. You're just not saying it. Pixel 4a, 349 eh, Not bad. Uh, certified pre owned Galaxy S10e, $549.99. So those are the phones that they offer on Credo. That's, that's about it. That's about it. Let's see. The metadata, though. <laughs> yeah, don't forget the random pop-ups from the ACLU. Uh, no. Am I saying this correctly? Is there really like 381 people in here and counting? That's crazy. There's really that much people in here. But anyhow, yeah, so that's uh, that's Credo Mobile. So we've covered Credo Mobile. We've covered the Freedom Phone. Um, if you want to go to Credo Mobile, uh, credomobile.com is the website. If you want to check out the Freedom Phone, it's uh, freedomphone.com. You can check it out there too as well. And... Um, yeah, we got a little bit of time left before I end the live stream. I usually go live for about an hour. Um, so here's where all that stuff declines. I had 800 for a moment. That's crazy. That's crazy. I guess people are really, really interested in knowing what the Freedom Phone is and what uh, Credo. I got to change that title. I put Credo Wireless, so Credo Mobile. Um, <laughs> Baby Yoda, what's up, man? What's going on? Um, all right, so a side note away from all that tech and stuff like that, for those people who have been sending prayers uh, to my daughter, thank you guys so much for those prayers, and they worked. Uh, so we just had a doctor's appointment this morning. It was virtual, uh, but we spoke with the neurologist uh, regarding the cyst that they found in the CT scan on her brain, and um, we got a lot of clarification. A huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders um, because they told us that the cyst that they found is... Uh, an arachnoid cyst so it poses no threat to her in the future um it's not life-threatening currently at this time or will ever be life-threatening and it will not cause any developmental issues going forward with her it lots of people have this and don't even know they have it because it's not like you know we get a ct scan of our heads every day so you could go your whole life not knowing that you have this um, but it actually is there. It's in. They say that there's layers um, that surround the spinal cord and the brain, and the the arachnoid fluid is where this cyst is at. It's like a fold and an air pocket in it, basically. Um, the way that the way that she put it in layman's terms for us to understand, it's like laying a, a sticker on um, on a flat surface and then having an air bubble. Right? It's not detrimental. It doesn't destroy the image for having the air bubble, but you know for a fact that. Uh, there's an air bubble there. So, so she's good. She's good. All the worries that I had are, you know, set aside. Of course, I'm going to follow up with a second opinion just to make sure. And, uh, but it, 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 it's, it's good for me to know that, um, you know, there's no, uh, uh, there's no major concerns or, you know, you know, things to worry about in the future regarding it. So I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic about it. Uh, so I was so like, you know, happy in the beginning. Like I was like half asleep in the beginning of this live stream because I had just woken up not that long ago from, you know. And um, yeah. So, you know, I, I do want to thank the community. You guys were very, very supportive um, with the prayers. Even even outside of YouTube, you guys were, you know, you guys are amazing. You guys were awesome. And uh, I thank you guys so much for that. 
Uh, yeah, we're dropping now. Now that we're not talking about Creed or Freedom, <laughs> we're not talking about tech, so it's kind of dropping a little bit. But it's okay. You know, people come to try to get answers to questions they have. You know, doesn't necessarily mean they got to stay through the whole thing. Um, but hopefully I was able to to provide some some good information and maybe some good insight about it. Hopefully. If I did, hit the thumbs up. That that lets me know if I, if I did okay on that. Um yeah, she will be an, uh, a new X Men special gifts coming to her. <laughs> that would be cool. God, I miss. That. I don't know about you guys, but I was not a fan of the live action X Men movies. Um, I still on. Uh, I still watch the uh, the animated series. Yeah, I am too. I am too, Yoda. I am. I am very happy that I was able to. That they were able to clarify a lot of that stuff. I mean, I, I still want a second opinion just to be sure, but I, I have a good feeling about what what the neurologist that we spoke with. I have a very good feeling about what she said. Is absolutely that. Um, I just don't want any surprises down the road. So you know, it's always to be oh, good to be safe and sorry. So second opinion is not you know, not undermining her her professional opinion. It's just you know, it's what what most people do, right? Like people that get diagnosed with cancer, they always go for a second opinion because they always want another doctor to take a look and see if the his, if his findings is the same as the first. The fix this cord for some reason it starts to get all staticky. X Men was your favorite? X Men, the animated series is my favorite. It's my favorite cartoon to watch when I was a kid. Saturdays, get up. You hear that theme, and it was just—it was exciting. It was exciting to watch. I just, you know, it was just always crazy because anytime that Wolverine would go up against Sabretooth, Sabretooth will always best Wolverine in a fight majority of the time. Um, so that was always like the sad case of it. But you know, it is what it is. It's X Men. <laughs> I read the comic books, collected the comic books uh, growing up, so. Same thing there, including a Wolverine solo comics. I collected a lot of those. Spawn, um, heavy into Batman and Spider-Man. Batman had like several different ones, like the Detective comics, the Dark Knight comics, Batman comics. Then same with Spider-Man. You had like Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099, which is so many different ones. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, that's that's some pretty good news there. I just wanted to share with everybody about that. I live for all the movies. It will be interesting to see what Disney will do. You like you actually like the, the live action versions of those movies? Like, you know, like, like, like the movie itself was good. Like it's entertaining to watch. It's just, you know, when you kind of follow story sequences and stuff like that, it, it gets thrown off a bit here and there. I think I think that's just what it is. Like, like my career. My uh, critiquing of it is, you know, comparing it to to chronological storyline of the comic series. So, I mean, some aspects they got correct. Some aspects I feel like that they did not get correct. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyhow, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end the live stream here. I do want to thank everyone that came in and chit chatted with me, going over Freedom Phone and Cre and Credo Mobile. Credo Wireless, I called it. Credo Mobile. Um, thank you guys. Hopefully, you guys were able to get some good information about those companies and the phone itself. Um, to the 165 uh, uh, viewers that are not chatting but came in and watched the I Don't Know Who I Am, hopefully, you guys decided to subscribe. But thank you guys for coming anyways and hanging out. And hopefully, some of the information I was able to provide uh, was helpful and beneficial. If you guys miss majority of the uh, Freedom Phones um, talks, just catch in the replay. It starts exactly at, like at six minutes into the live stream. So the like, timestamp there for you guys. You guys want to jump over to that and just see the website, listen to what I have to say about it. Uh, it's there. Those on the Facebook side and on the Twitch side, shout out to you guys. Um, appreciate you guys for coming through. If you're watching on those platforms as well. And um, yeah, if you made it all the way to this point, hashtag Gurn Mondays. So I know y'all made it all the way through this point. And uh, for those that are replay, hashtag replay crew, appreciate it. Smash the like button, helps me out. Share this um, so other people can get some insight on both those companies. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I'm talking about tomorrow, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. So until then, thanks for watching. As always, aloha.